Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. We're right before the end of the gateway and the lunar eclipse. And the eve of the full moon is, I think, tonight. So all these things are happening in the newosphere and in our energy fields, our bodies of light, and in the body of light of Earth herself. We've had a tremendous input of M-class flares and C-class flare, flares. My computer went off three times this morning. Uh, the, the electricity and the internet went down uh, once, and the internet went down three times. And uh, the same thing that's going on with the physical internet is going on with the astral air right now. So I went for a walk out in the mountains, and um, I'm just almost home now. And I have some something to explain to you uh, that has to do with the astral stories of misqualified energy that's going around right now, and which I'm circumventing with sacred chanting. So the astral stories went round, and then the chanting happened, and then and then the person that was having the pretty bad experience started asking me questions, and that's the cause of this video. Um, I should explain that there are, according to Frank Peretti's books, there are s these beings called, he calls them invisible mobsters or invisible gangsters in the air. And yeah, I call them astral rascals or negative astral beings and I try to figure out what other people mean when they when they use different words like the demon realm and devils and things like that. So it could be the demonic realm. It might be the fallen angels. Uh, it might be negative beings from Orion or the Pleiades, for instance. And they're creating some commotion right now because uh, they're among the greatest complainers when the light comes in during the gateways. Um, so, <clears throat> here's what I have for you. There's some standard uh, malware that the invisible mobsters try to insert in the mental and emotional fields of human beings. And they figure if they can, if they can make human beings believe this, um, then they can like enslave them and possess or obsess them and uh, make them their like donkeys or horses or you know like that so they have one standard technique for women and girls and another standard technique for men and I'm speaking now about women or girls and men or boys who enjoy um, a heterosexual attraction to each other, male to female and female to male. Okay, It's a very strong bonding there, extremely strong. One of the strongest bondings on earth is the male and the female bonding through sacred sexuality. Okay, so. So the aim of the invisible mobsters is to prevent that from happening. And they've come up with these formulas that they try to insert uh, either in the women or in the men who are enjoying a heterosexual lifestyle so they can sunder them, sunder their relationship and own them separately uh, for, for being ridden each separately written by one of their people, one of the one of the invisible mobsters. Um, the thing that they do with women and girls is they try to implant false memories that the women or the girls have been raped by their fathers. We see uh, online all the time instances of of these false memories coming up and being rejected by women who had previously thought that they they had that trouble. And I've mentioned it in other blogs as well. 
The trouble is that if women are presented with a very vivid like vision that this has happened or an auditory like recording that this has happened and then if they actually believe it then that prevents them from strong mating with a man because if the father did something awful in violation of, of their trust of him then how can they trust the, the man or the boy that they're with you see so so that doubt in the minds of the women or the g girls is what drives them away from their relationship with their other person their their man or their boy friend this this malware to do with being raped by the father i found described in frank peretti's books this present darkness and the sequel to that piercing the darkness from the astral heirs, I gather that the same malware can be morphed a little and used against men and boys uh, by making a false vision or a false auditory track uh, that f makes them believe they have been raped by their father. And the results would be the same if, if they can be convinced of that. The same um, mistrust of of men and wanting to make things right. Then on the astral layers, the suggestion might be made that they can heal their soul wounding uh, from the false memory by participating in in uh, homosexual or M to M intercourse, and that that will make them better when in fact the intention of the invisible mobsters might be to make things much worse for them. The malware that I'm about to describe to do with men and boys being forced to separate from their women or wives and their girlfriends, I haven't seen it in Frank Peretti's books, although it may be in some others of his books. Um, but I have heard it on the astral airs for about 20 years now, so I I know that it's existed for that length of time and is quite prevalent in the world today. It's a little more complicated. I think because men have strong willpower, just a little bit stronger than women. And so there has to be something really, really rancid that these invisible monsters can convince um, the men of in order to prevent them from their relationship, their fulfilling, loving relationship with their woman. Mind control is involved by the invisible mobsters. And there may be variations on this, but what I understand is that they will place this heterosexual man in a position where he can, where he feels intense attraction to another man. And, and uh, uh, typically, this other man is being ridden by one of the invisible mobsters. And it is that riding that the invisible mobster does that causes the attraction that forces the man to accept being having intercourse with another man. Um, so then, in the mind of the man, they currently place, the man who has been raped, they currently place the notion that, that he is that he has HIV, which was transmitted through that rape, and that uh, he can no longer go back to the woman because he will um, subject her to getting HIV and maybe dying. And so, because of his love for his his woman, or or if it's a boy, uh, his girlfriend. Uh, the man is forced not to have uh, his normal heterosexual relationship. And uh, in time, that, that situation degenerates so that the man loses his vital force and his will because he is, on the astral plane, always being um, taunted by the invisible mob mobsters and uh, forced to feel that he, the rape is being repeated. With some men who are very strong-willed, 
uh, there be, may be no ray, but rather just the constant repetition of the notion that they are being raped by like a very um, invincible, uh, invisible mobster. And that drives the man away from the woman. And that tape, that recording, may go on forever unless in a, in a gateway such as this, uh, the, the incoming light is strong enough to purify the man's and the woman's body of light and return it to its pristine state without the soul wounding and without the malware that have been inserted there by the invisible mobsters so that they can possess or obsess or attach themselves to um, the man and the woman. So, so now is the time to clear. Now is the time today and tomorrow are the times when you can clear these beings from your energy field if in fact you're, you're faced with this awful situation. Know that your heart, your heart is a gateway to other worlds and you can send these beings through your heart during the gateway to other constellations entirely. All you have to do is agree to do that thing. You yourself might rid the entire earth of all of a certain class of invisible mobsters. You might do that today. I wish you very great success if you should decide to do that. Godspeed and God bless and God keep you forever in His light.